Hello Cyber Explorers, this is XK and welcome to Cyber Explorer. I believe you have seen my video on using AES in Python to encrypt a message. Recently, one of my viewers wants to know how to encrypt images using AES in Python. So today's video is about learning how to use AES to encrypt a file and decrypt them back in Python. It is actually very simple if I use this library from pyp.org called pyaescript. You can also find the link in the description below. Install it first by copying and pasting it on the CMD like this. Once installed, we are ready to go. In this folder, I created an empty file called pyaes.py. I also copied an image called cat.jpg. This is how it looks like. I'm going to encrypt and decrypt it back and see if it still works. As an editor, I am using sublime text this time as I don't have much to write. I start by importing the library. Next, I define two empty functions called encrypt and decrypt each with two parameters called key and source. These values will be passed accordingly, I will show in a minute. But let's start with the encryption first. Here I have the source file name. My output file name will be .enc appended to the source name. enc refers to encrypted. Now I call the encrypt file function using the pyae script object. It consists of three parameters. The first parameter is the source file path. The second one is the output file path. And the third one is the key. I return the output file name. On the decryption part, I first generate the output file name from the source. I want to call it catdeck.jpg. Deck refers to decrypted. So I split the source name about the dot character to fetch the different parts of the file name and call it dfile. This is a list by the way. My destination file should look like this. dfile0 which is cat, dec dot which is the appended postfix and dfile1 which is the extension of the file which is jpg. I call this string as output. Finally, I call the decrypt file function using the pya script object. Now that they are complete, it's time to call them with the right parameters. I define the key called the test pass key. You can use yours. My source is cat.jpg. Now as they are in the same folder, just entering the file name will also work. Otherwise, you have to enter the full path. Here, I will call the encrypt function with the key and the source and save the output file as fenc, denoting encrypted file. Then I will call the decrypt function with the key and the encrypted file name, which is fenc. That's it. In order to check each of the functions separately, I comment out the decrypt function for now. Let's run it. On the folder, you can see our encrypted file. If I open it, you can see the encrypted text. To verify that it is not a gimmick, I remove the enc extension and see if it can be viewed by my photo viewer. Nope. As expected, it is not readable. Let me rename it back. I uncomment the decrypt function and run it again. Now you can see the catdeck.jpg file which looks similar and can be viewed as well. By the way, subscribe now and hit the like button. Thank you. To ensure that there is no bit loss, I use a command line utility in Windows called fc which stands for file compare. I already wrote this batch script. Slash b denotes bit by bit comparison. If I run it, I get no differences encountered. This indicates that the file is intact, which exactly how it should be. So here you go, file encryption using AES. I hope this was helpful. If it was, please hit the like and the subscribe button. If you have any suggestions or topic requests like this person, please write it down in the comments below. I read all your comments. I will see you soon with my Keylogger tutorial on Kali Linux. Until then, stay safe and stay curious.